Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert, and today I'm bringing you to the full drop list for this week, unless it changes, uh, which is going to be week 15 of the full winter season. Now, this week is obviously the probably like larger weeks or one of the larger weeks of the season uh, because it is the box logo week. So, yeah, the crew necks and the beanies are going to be dropping this week, but on top of that, we do also have a lot of accessories and other pieces obviously can be changed or subject to change but without further ado we're going to be getting straight into this and yeah let's go <laughs> okay so yeah basically let's just get straight into the week and straight onto the week uh, obviously as per norm uh, on like the community tab of my channel i will just put the whole voting uh, for the colorways i don't know the names yet obviously uh, but we will go with what we know basically or what we can estimate or guess uh so for the first item for the week actually we've got the beaver gumball machine uh people saw or people said that they're disappointed that it's not uh like chargeable in the sense that you can't actually charge people uh to use it or to get any of the gumballs out it's like a free spinning uh type so <laughs> they were upset with that which i can kind of understand because if you put it in like a reselling shop or something for instance you could easily make a good chunk out of it but it depends as to how you'd get more gumballs on the like yeah like once they're gone they're gone so maybe when you're like half full or like a quarter up the price <laughs> or see if you can change it in that way and yeah i don't know but yeah, that is the first item. I'm not going to be going for that, obviously. It might be US only as well. I'd probably expect it to be. And yeah, it might have a hefty retail. So we can move straight on to what I am most looking forward to this week. And there are three colorways that are on my mind. Two that are more specifically the ones that I'm debating between. And then one that I might most probably end up going for. So let's get straight into it. So evidently... Um, We've got a range of them. We've got this brown-ish tone. We've got grey. We've got zebra or zebra, however you want to pronounce it. We've got the teal, light blue, the Tyler, the creator, you know, one. We've got this maroon burgundy. We've got this, like, light yellow or pale yellow, black, and then dark green. Not forest green, but it's a darker tone, so yeah. Now, out of these colorways, personally, for me, I would say that it's going to be the green the maroon burgundy tone and the teal that are on my mind. Second to that, I would most probably say that it would be the black, the brown and the gray, and then the pale yellow and the zebra zebra be last for me personally. Out of those three though that I would pick, I would say that it's more so the green and the teal that would be at the forefront. Then it's just the debate realistically, like for me, Green with the red is very Christmassy, like it's extremely Christmassy and it would replace my forest green, which doesn't really fit me, to be honest. But at the same time, blue with red, teal, Tyler the Creator, you know, it's a really, really nice colorway and it is a really clean colorway. It's a difficult one, so yeah, I don't know. That's why I say it's a bit of a debate for me as to what I would end up going for overall because it is a debate in the end. As far as the beanies are concerned, I'd personally like to double cart um, because as far as last year went, a lot of people double carted things, so I feel like it might be the same this year. And yeah, a lot of people are saying don't do PayPal, do do PayPal. I don't know, but I feel like you could do one like you could either double cart or you could do a single and then go for one afterwards because the beanies are like the secondary thought. There are people who just go for beanies specifically, but typically it's secondary thought. It's funny because I'm thinking back and like for winter 18, they dropped the box logo beanies uh, on November 8th. I remember because it was my birthday uh, and I picked up the black colorway. It's quite funny that they dropped them like separately at that point compared to now where we get them like on the same day but yeah moving on from there we have the sog snippet multi-tool uh two different colorways being red and gold probably us exclusive will be us exclusive so we can move straight on to the two in one gore-tex shell windstopper vest uh is this the thing where the sleeves come off or yes it is so it goes to the sleeves okay i mean in purple and black you can really see how it's the vest this, funnily enough, being a camo tone, actually covers it up. Like, snow camo is actually covering up the fact that it's got the vest that can come off. So that might actually be the better tone compared to when you're wearing it like this. It's really vivid and you can see it clearly. So, yeah. Next to that, we have the shop canvas down trucker jacket. Nice, clean colorways, to be honest. It's just, with it being a shop piece, uh, it is going to be a little bit expensive. But personally for me, I do think that all of the colorways are really nice, especially this cream colorway. With the collar being the brown as like an accent standing out, it really does like highlight it and make it a nice piece overall. But 
yeah, it, it's got to have a really tail that's like up there, isn't it? So, yeah. We then have an unseen elephant meshback find panel. It's funny because I remember one of the last unseen like meshbacks we got uh, was the piece where they took it from like that farming company and then its price went into the heavens. So, yeah, following that though, we have the tiger camo reflective camp cap. Colorways across the board are quite cool. Reminds me of Call of Duty because obviously Tiger Camo. Yeah, but yeah, regardless, I do like all of the colorways. I think they all have their own like aspects that make them stand out. So from there, we have the warm-up pant, sort of a staple for the season. Me being me, I'll be biased towards the black and the green colorway or this darker green colorway. The other tones are nice, but it's just how I feel. We then have, in contrast to that, the applique short sleeve top. Yeah, it'll probably be 58 to 78 pounds. That's typical for it. Overall, it's not the worst. I'm not really a fan of the placement, but I can kind of understand it. Colorways are clean. The font and the like drop shadow that they've gone for it or outer glow is sort of out there, but I'll let it be as it doesn't like overpower or overemphasize on it. Well, it kind of does, but yeah. Uh, we can move on to the Timbaland Woven 3 Eye Lug Shoe, which is clearly going to be dropping and we'll probably have the news of that tomorrow. So we'll just have to wait for that. So we have the Lakshmi. I hope I haven't butchered that. Uh, zip up hoodie. I'm not really a fan of zip ups. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not a huge fan of how they've done the text for this. I think it would look cool on like a sticker or something, but I can kind of get... Uh, the like way of doing font differently for once. I do appreciate that it's all embroidered, but yeah, mm, I don't know. For the last couple of pieces for this week, we have the nylon filled uh, shirt. Nylon filled shirt, okay. <sighs> mm. I don't think you could wear that by itself. You definitely need to wear something underneath because of that material. Um, yeah, you just couldn't do that. That's a weird one. I mean, for winter time, it's cool instead of having to wear a jacket, but at the same time, would someone wear that without a shirt? No. Well, maybe, but I don't know. Colorways are okay. The olive's nice, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about that concept. Uh, to match the camp cap, we do have the Tiger Camo Reflective uh, Tulip Hat. Not really for this time of year. More wintry pieces should be for this time. Not really a summer uh, hat, but... Regardless, I still like the camo colours that they've got, and yeah, we can move on to the striped chenille sweater. Wintertime sweater, it's not even that bad, to be honest. I like the look of it, and I don't know how I feel about the other tones for the green and the like white or cream. I do like the black colourway, because it's nice for winter. Don't know how I feel about this, with its like yellowy gold accent to it, with the black outline. And this, like brown with red. Yeah, mm. This is good. This is good. Uh, and to finish off the week, we have the faux fur zip up cardigan. No, no, not faux fur on the outside. It's it's a no. No, no, no. Some of the cardigans that Supreme do are really clean and are really nice, but it's just that is, yeah, it's not for me. So that is going to cover this week, basically, or this week in the end for the drop list. Obviously, things will be updated and added. As per norm, it will just happen. And yeah that is about it so as per norm let me know down below what you're going to be aiming for this week i know what majority will be aiming for but what colorway what size and yeah that would basically be it for me it's either going to be uh medium in teal or green and yeah that's me done as far as the beanies are concerned i would personally like the green one uh, i think it would be a better replacement for my current forest green uh, just because of the red that's on it i just feel that it'd be a bit better but I'd take anything that I could get uh, because I've still got like that navy-ish tone from last year. So yeah, but that is going to cover it anyway. So I hope that you have a good rest of your day and I will see you all next time. Peace.